upgrades like it. Intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Right. 
The cliff is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. Don't get cocky. Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. and his team must be in here. Find him. <laughs> Raiden, wait. There are active IR sensors in the area. Smart on factory security, no doubt, but the enemy may be using it. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsaev, where is he? I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian. But white as snow. A natural born killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. But I butchered those fuckers. My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. Yeah. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq, in Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino, one after another. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I... protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
So you've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep. All set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K-9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw them a bow. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Let's go. Get that dude's ass. Very inconspicuous. Eunice is away. Mariachi. No? Cyborg? Is his sombrero? Yeah. Well, okay then. It's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission is to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <laughs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers. So, you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Right. Unidentified UGs are patrolling the sewers. Exercise caution. Talk to How are things back in Abkhazia? Thanks to the full efforts of the workers, power was restored in just two days. Pretty impressive. Only the power plant is back online, though. Refinery itself will likely be out of service for months. Fuel sent from Supsa is being used to power the plant for now. Ah, just wish I could have stopped him. Impossible without a sniper. And in our focus on anti-cyborg combat, we were... unprepared. Thankfully, other than financial losses, few Abkhaz citizens were seriously affected. The plant workers had already been evacuated, and most were hired back on to rebuild the refinery. We received payment, and are not being blamed for the suicide blast. Good to hear. 
It should go a long way to help fix our reputation. Duh. And even more good news. Desperado is down one of its top captains. Let's hope they learned a lesson. We can hope, but it is doubtful. We still do not know who is supporting them. Even if we shut Desperado down entirely, their backers could simply hire some other PMC. Whoever it is, you really think they're interested in the pipeline? Who'd benefit besides the Georgians? Hmm, hard to say. Whatever the plan was, it went up in flames with Dolcev's suicide. The problem is that there are countless companies and governments profiting off the BTC pipeline. Whoever is behind it, they may be too big for a simple security firm like us to do anything. Yeah, one thing we do know, though, is that Sundowner is more than just a pawn in all of this. We need to watch him. Trafficking or not, we need to stop their operation here. Find the evidence, and perhaps we can do that. And Tovaric, be careful. This trial mentioned someone from her past. Any idea who that could have been? None. I checked her file again, couldn't find a thing. Definitely not Dolzaev. Probably not Sundowner either. No. The way she put it, it didn't sound like anyone I've encountered so far. Maybe someone involved in backing Desperado. If so, sounds like they're providing more than just financing. Maybe they share the same philosophy. That'd be bad. People willing to die for the- Yeah, but other than the wins, Desperado's cyborgs are all just hired contractors. They're probably emotion suppressed with nanos or drugs or whatever, but that's about it. Hmm. You're probably right. So these self-repair units and the other cyborgs, they mean they can heal themselves at any time? Indeed. It is typically a slow process, not much faster than a regular human body heals a wound. And you didn't think it was a good idea to give me one of these things? Certainly not. We removed all extraneous options in your case to maximize power and speed, you know. Healing wounds is extraneous? Your ability to absorb the nanopaste agent is far more efficient, Raiden. With it, your wounds heal almost instantly. I know, but... And a standard repair unit, once depleted, is nothing but an empty shell inside you. Dead weight! I get that, Doc, but it also means I need to constantly be grabbing them out of enemies. No, it doesn't. Don't be silly. Simply avoid taking damage and you will be fine. <laughs> yeah, simple. Uh -huh. Raiden, ambulatory unmanned gears detected in sewer network. What? Desperado's already spotted us? Negative. These UGs are not engaged in proper perimeter security. Even were the lab anticipating our assault, they would not set up patrols down here. It is too far from the lab to be effectively guarded. So what are they doing down here? Judging by their behavior, I believe they are gathering AI behavioral learning data. Meaning? With neural AI, there is no delineation between hardware and software. You cannot simply extract the learning data from one AI and insert it into another. In order to prepare a UG's AI for deployment, each must learn its duties on an individual basis. So they're using a Mexican sewer as their training ground? No, it would be impractical to implement on-the-field training for every AI in their force. In most cases, AIs are fed simulated data sets, plus feedback based on their chosen actions. Put another way, they engage in VR training. So then why are they here? I believe they are collecting data to improve upon their VR training code. To build a better VR regimen, they must go out in the field to experiment and gather data. It is why probable they are using the sewers to help improve their AI's behavior in enclosed spaces. That's the sort of subcontracting work this lab does? It appears likely. Oh, great. And here I was hoping the worst we'd have to deal with is toxic waste. Unfortunately, not. I like Wolf.
quick. Don't want to attract too much attention down there.
this looks great. Estás bien? What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak English? Uh, yeah. I'm from America. Call me Ryden. Me name George, like Georgetown. George. And just like all damn America president. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no. I'm looking for bad guys. Our damn Skunter Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them Skunt, nah? Nah, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, maybe live on the street, rake and scraper above, nah? Then this Kootenai dressed like the Mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What the worst gonna happen, nah? But that mother scum don't put me on a rass boat. They pack us all a pickable dirty container. Next thing we know, we're here at the Jumbi Lab. All kids, like you? Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here what them scum want to do. Snuff us out. And got all day organ. So you ran? Uh-huh. You shame me not a bad-ass robot ninja man, same as you! Ha! <laughs> me been strongest cyborg ever. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. You're starting to sound <laughs> like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah? Me done plenty bad thing. But me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. Me tried to warn the boy, I say. IOD's brain would get cut out. Run your ass out of there. But the boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. Ring, ring. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah. He says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dump the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a Sentry Cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find a server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of their technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. 
If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. <laughs> Heavy UG activity ahead. It is possible they are conducting test operations while the lab is closed. They're not going to make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? It's... It's a box. How's that going to help? Oh, it's for medical supplies. That could work, actually. I'm... I'm in a box. Intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Thank you. 
Keep on coming. hiding spots. wonder where he learned that from.
hit and I got a set. This would appear to be the UG maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. Something they use to upload mission parameters to the UGs. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first, you need to take a dump. I... Wait, what? A dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should suffice. A tripod or the like. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlet to control the proxy UG. All right, let's give it a shot. Nice, right, right. I thought you said stealth ops were your special. If they continue to increase security, they may... Too bad, Doctor.
information was in that man's photographic memory. Now, yeah. But that room. Those were cyborg brain casings. Duh. We saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes. This must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere, but they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus. Are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait. The cyborgs you've been fighting, did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So, what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. Man, this shit's fucked up. Probably best you stay out of there. We don't want to risk harming any of the brains. Pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. Try latching onto cyborgs' heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious. Now, any funny business, and they might just open fire. Try latching onto cyborgs' heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious.
Wow, I just realized I'm like a Wheatley with arms. It's creepy. Oh, I see. That terminal is most likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs. Let's try using it to access the lab server. something in one of the sentry cyborgs visual locks guess who shows up patch it through right away set up a new lab. They lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors requires a significant investment. Yes, yes, we'll get the money. 
accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Takumse is a demanding mistress, and America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. You see that, Kev? Imani's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Hmm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. He definitely seemed familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. George. What? Maybe the coordinates you sent us were off? No way. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. I better keep moving. Walking the way. Push that thing back.
battle now! I knew I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong. As in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. And get this. Two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a certain private... World Marshal. One of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest. Ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshall and Desperado in bed together. Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshal and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs. You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Kev. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. I know what you're thinking and just no. Colorado is in America, and America has these things called laws. Mm-hmm. And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus fr Kevin out.
Desperado's backer has been identified. What will you do now, Raiden? Will you attempt to destroy World Marshal? I... Kevin's right. It's not that simple. Both a direct attack and a legal approach present problems. Either course will likely lead to additional conflict. We can figure it out later. For now, we're getting those kids out. That remains your intent. I cannot fully agree with that course of action. But I will support your decision. I will continue to scout ahead. Got anything on George? Not yet. I hope he's okay. Oh, this is my fault. I could have stayed until someone came to pick him up. Come on. Who knows what would have happened to the other kids in the meantime? Or even now, for that matter. You're right. They're gonna be in even more danger soon enough. And there's a chance George is still safe. Somewhere. Yeah. I'm sure he's fine. I'd better move. artificial blood cryopreserver. They must have begun preparatory freezing. What do you mean? That device is filled with synthetic blood plasma. It can slow the metabolism of a harvested organ, circulating this plasma to sustain oxygen levels. You can preserve an arm, a brain, any body part for several hours. So what are they freezing, and why? I could not say. Perhaps they plan to sell off the organs of the children they were told to dispose of. Unbelievable. You had best hurry, Raiden. Right. Anesthetic in smaller doses. But breathe too much of it? And adios, muchachos! Break that glass, and I'll blow his brains out! Surrender! Or decide the needs of the many, or the needs of the few. Right in. Don't worry about me now. Quiet, pendejo! <laughs> Surrender! I won't ask again. George, are you sure? Hmm? Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ting! What if me can take this scunt to hell with me? Quiet!
then you kill the kid too? Then really show. See what upgrades I can get. No. Do not want. Hamilton is on his way to the Middle East this morning for his scheduled visit with Pakistani President Farooq Salam. The meeting is viewed as an attempt by the U.S. to strengthen relations amidst a surge of anti-American sentiment in the region. Yo, me ninja brother! George, good to see you up and about. How you feeling? Never better, na? No brain, no more star while them hunger space eat, and me never ever feel so awake, na? That's because your blood sugar levels are being maintained automatically. Beats the hell out of coffee. Oh! We've been here you go while I got them scone in the base. Why the rasa you not take me with you, huh? Damn it, Doc. Sorry, kid. You'd just be in the way. Aww. Besides, I thought you didn't want to be a killer, right? Me don't, but... Killing isn't fun in games. Remember that. Right. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. No! It yearns to bathe in the blood of her enemies, but you hold it back. Yeah, just remember that. Ask questions later. Yep, I sure did to pick America, right? You cannot resign. Sorry, Boris, it's done. Can't have a Maverick employee involved in a corporate raiding now, can we? You could at least come talk to me. No. It was time to break away from the old team, Boris. Past time. You cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little kids and ship their parts around like meat. It's sick. It's not all so simple, Ryder. They import those brains legally, for medical purposes. It's all done. Being legal doesn't make it right. Ryder, I... Hold that thought. <laughs> Cyborg, you are not licensed to operate in this area. You're in violation of state and federal law. 
Guess you'd better arrest me then. <laughs> 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 Eighteen three one zero four point seven. Threatening a peace officer. Deadly force is authorized. the point of this.
What's your status? They trashed my car. I'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Do you really have to do this? Yes. Look, I'm fed up with all of it. Companies like ours, yours, bend the laws when it suits business. Why not bend it when it can save innocent lives? Right in. Boris, listen to me. That VR training, they'll be warped into killing machines. They'll be set on POWs, civilians. It'll be one atrocity after another. Hmm. Like what you went through. We can't have any more Jack the Rippers. You saw what happened with George. I'm doing this, Boris. I have to. I can't save those kids from becoming cyborgs, but I can stop them from becoming murderers. Say so you succeed. So you get all the brains back. Then what? Just so happens I know a great cybernetic surgeon. Doctor. But he cannot... You won't change my mind, Boris. This is my fight now. And your wife and son? What of them? They're in New Zealand. Safe. Rose would understand why I have to do this. <sighs> All right, damn you. You do realize Marshall has the contract for law enforcement throughout the city. They are the law in Denver. Yeah, we've met. Well then... <clears throat> Officially... Maverick Incorporated condemns you and your actions as unlawful. And a pain in the asshole. <laughs> now, increase your codec encryption. Do not worry about the lag. And unofficially? I'll do all I can over the codec to help. I do not like what those Mudaki are doing any more than you. Spasiba, Tavarić. Spasiba.
Let's go. Doc, ring, ring. what's your status? I am reviewing the pre-flight checklist now. I have hired contractors to handle shipping the brain units. We should be airborne in just a few minutes. You sure you can pilot that chopper by yourself? Right, and of course. Need I remind you that we live in the golden age of unmanned flight? Even manned helicopters possess a robust semi-automatic mode. It is simple, really. So simple that I can continue to monitor your status and world marshal security from the pilot seat. I must say, for the world's largest PMC, their security procedures are quite poor. Quite poor. Sadly, I did not have the necessary permissions to override their plans. Nevertheless, the data I did find should prove most useful. So please, do feel free to contact me whenever you like. Appreciate it, Doc. Well, it's not every day one has the chance to collect so many brains. Think of the data! The research! Oh, and of course, your personal safety was a concern as well. Roger that. Send it. What happened? Ah! What is going Congratulations. on? Congratulations. Right, answer me! Mirror's Edge.
any further via the rooftops. There is a freight railroad underground. The elevator ahead will take you to it. That this fall, but not fall of the building. It would appear so. Likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight trains. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory. But now, it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Yeah, it's pitch black in here. As a cyborg, I trust this is not a serious concern. Still have not noticed you. Do not expose yourself. <laughs> 